Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. It's mid-October 2022. There's obviously been a massive ramping up of Russian cruise missiles being fired over the border and hitting Ukrainian targets. Now, as ever, we're not interested in the geopolitics of this. We're just looking at the technologies used. So today we're looking at more defensive systems that could and are being used in Ukraine to counter these Russian cruise missiles. Now, we've already looked at the NASAM systems being supplied from America and the idea of Patriots as well. And we found that NASAMs, especially in a layer defense system, was extremely effective against contemporary Russian cruise missiles. If you want to watch that video, that's there. Next, just in the last couple of days, Germany have sent their first IRIS-T SLM system. This is a land-based system that fires modified IRIS-T missiles, and we'll see how effective that is over the coming weeks. And today we're going to be testing that system or our version of it to see its effectiveness in our simulator. But there's also another one. This video has materialized. Now, this is a really interesting one, and we want to tie this into the video as well. Ukrainian soldier shoots Russian cruise missile out of the sky with a man pad. A man pad is a small shoulder-launched IR-guided missile. The one used here is actually a Igla S, an SA-18. It's actually, strangely, a Russian missile. So you've got a Russian missile shooting a Russian cruise missile. These were left over from the fall of the Soviet Union, as most of Ukraine's hardware was. It was a legacy system. But let's start today by watching this, talking about it, and then testing our own systems out. One missile goes up. Two missile goes up. Давай, сука, падай! Now, let's talk about this video first of all, guys. I really want it to be real because the idea that a man pad could shoot down a cruise missile is completely foreign, almost science fiction to me. First of all, this is a legacy system. This is an SA-18, so this is not new. This is from the 1980s. Secondly, cruise missiles are very hard target. They fly fast, 500 knots, that's fast. They fly low, two, three, 400 feet. And they're small. They're very small, hard to see. They're not like a big Russian flanker or a frog foot or something. As well as that, they've got a very small IR signature. They have jet engines on them, but they only kick out a thousand pounds of thrust or so. So they're extremely cold. The idea that a 1980s Igla could find, locate, lock onto and hit a cruise missile with all those things that I said seems to me almost impossibility. But... Maybe it's real, and if it is, kudos for shooting a cruise missile down. Anyone got any other thoughts on this video? So I've been looking into different cruise missile engines, and I don't see why an IGLA system couldn't effectively take one out. It's a typical fan jet that's usually propelling the cruise missiles. The same kind of IR heat signature that an IGLA would typically go after. It's just that it's such a small engine. It's putting out so little thrust. It's just the overall heat I was talking about. So it's so much less than like a mainstream jet engine on like a big 20,000 pound engine. It's much smaller engine, for instance, than in a helicopter. Sure, the uh, exhaust plume would be smaller. However, that small engine has to propel um, that, that larger missile at such an extreme speed. So wouldn't that itself pr produce a much higher heat signature? I don't know. It's not the uh, size of the engine. It's the, the engine will be running close to max continuous, and that's going to make it quite hot. You're talking about seven, 800 degrees Celsius for the exhaust. It may be small, but it's quite intense. My thing about this is just the pure timing to be standing out in the middle of a field when a cruise missile right. comes across just happen to be holding an igla in your hand like nobody just stands in the field with an igla let alone knows the path that that cruise missile is going to be coming in unless like russia like called this guy up and say hey man we're gonna launch a cruise missile over your house next wednesday mm -hmm. ukraine is the place where people stand out in fields with man pads it is 100 percent possible it's just like shooting down a jet it's the, the thing here though is we haven't seen this before because somebody kind of pointed it out you have to be at the right place at the right time you have to know which direction it's coming from you have to have some sort of early warning to know from this direction you're going to have a cruise missile coming in and at that point you're going to have to be able to identify in which direction it is get a lock on tone fire and get that missile out before it leaves your wes so it is absolutely possible. It's just 
very hard to do. One of the things here is that they would have had some kind of intel from some early warning, I won't say where, but probably pretty accurate. The actual time to engage with something like this is very short, and they would have heard the missile coming. They would have wanted to engage from behind to give the missile the best chance, but the timing becomes very difficult because the missiles receding, the uh, IGLA might not have had enough energy if they got the timing wrong. If you've heard one of these uh, caliber missiles flying over, they are not quiet. Mm. So you would be able to theoretically hear that thing coming. I notice it's clear skies, so you're going to see it. There's also a large field, so that kind of helps them out a little bit with their chances of engagement. I remember where I used to live and how, why I'm into aviation now. I lived under the flight path for many um, American and actually RAF training areas. They used to fly super fast and super low, so getting on transonic at just a few hundred feet and used to hear the jet coming, uh, F-111s, tornadoes, Jaguars, stuff like that. It was to hear the jet coming, but you had no idea really where it was coming from. And until it was over you, you just had a... You just had no idea. So I'm just imagining it's so difficult to see a missile like that. But anyway, guys, good comments. Today, we're going to test if we can do it in our simulator. We have two systems to test. We have the SA-18 Igla S, which we'll try first, and then we're gonna go for the IRST system. So here is a target zone in Ukraine. Here on the right is a Tu-160 Russian bomber with 12 KH-65 contemporary cruise missiles. We're gonna see if we can intercept them. In fact, before we do that, we're gonna have a control test to make sure our systems can lock on and fire on a basic aircraft. So before we do that, we're gonna fire on a just a Russian aeroplane that's gonna fly over the top of us. We will be based 10 miles from the target zone, conveniently in the path of the missiles and the control. We're gonna start with Igla S's. We've got a whole bunch of us, myself, Sock, Grump, Hasina, Matrix, Simba, Turksaw, Drop, Violet, say hello guys. Hello. 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 We have not tried this yet. In the simulator, do you think that we're going to be able to lock on to... Obviously, we'll be able to lock on to the control guy and shoot at him. But do you think we'll be able to lock on to the cruise missiles traveling about 500 knots, about 200 feet? Yes. yes. I think so, yeah. Well, missiles can shoot other missiles down in DCS, so... Oh. I think you're all wildly over-optimistic. But I'm usually wrong, so stand by. Right, I'm in with my Igla S, my... Guys are here with their Igla S's. How does it feel to have Igla S's, guys? Please don't shoot each other or hit each other with backblast. I'm about to pop! Of course I you was about to shoot. All right, let's aim roughly at east at 090. There will be a Russian aeroplane conveniently flying over. No, I've never done this before either, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I can't find a way of zooming in. Has anyone found a way of zooming in yet? Because I haven't. Binocular view. And just use the uh, zoom. Press B. Press B and you get a cheat mode. Someone's gone running off. Don't wait! Sock! You have permission to shoot Sock. He's gone rogue. 093. 093. Four nautical miles. It's coming, guys. I'm going to go here because then I can watch you guys doing. I can't even. I, can't even I have lock on Sock. Am I still cleared hot to shoot? No, there's a target coming, Simba. Get ready for it. No tone. No tone. So, this is what I'm telling you. Imagine no doing this with a missile that you can't even see. I'm just saying, guys. Well. We're Shot! also looking at an aspect. I can't fire. Yes! Thank you. Missiles don't have flares, Cap. He knows you're rocking at him, so... Missed! Fire, guys! Someone hit. Doesn't look very hit. Yeah, yeah, someone's missile hit him. Still One missile missed, miss, another missile hit. Gungi's disappearing. <laughs> Wait for... Maybe try a rear aspect, guys. God damn, missile gets disappearing. What is that all about? I hit him! So I hit him. Oh, you hit. got him! Was that you, Sock? Yeah. You handsome devil, Sockington. Why? I, wait for aspect. I don't know why we. I don't know why we're celebrating. I mean, it would be idiots if we couldn't make that shot. I told him not to dodge. Valued viewers, um, there's obviously a massive bug with my seeker tone, but talk to core game developers out that. Um, we're going to try it with some missiles. Stand by. Welcome in, viewers, for the actual thing. We are now going to have 12 KH-65 cruise... Really? Someone's fallen over and died. Someone's fallen... Who fell over and died? <laughs> if that was Sock... If that was Sock, I swear. What was Sock? For sake, Sock. We'll restart, don't worry. Guys, you're setting the mission. 
Right, you really did pop that time, didn't you? Get in the man and just don't do anything weird, Sock. I know it's difficult for you, but just please don't do anything weird. I'm going to try that again. Don't worry, as ever, I will cut that out. Valued viewers, welcome back. In fact, we're going to have more information than the real guys know because we know where the missile's going to come from. Stop looking at me! When the missile's going to be, how high it's going to be, what type, how many there are. They just wouldn't know all of that information in real life. So we're going to be given a leg up. Obviously, we've discovered a massive bug in the core game because whenever any of my guys here get a tone, I also get that tone. But... I haven't actually got that tone, so I don't actually know when to fire. Maybe if we spread out enough, we will deconflict our tones, guys. Maybe it's a proximity problem. Is there Things a are happening. 30 nautical miles. Cruise missiles out. Wow, 30 miles already. Okay, that's fast. These are going to be fast, guys. That last plane was 300 knots. These are going to be 5, 50, 600 knots. And tiny little specks. Use your binoculars. In real life, you would have a little guy, a uh, little with binoculars or something, looking out, saying, Da! I don't know the words. Okay, first thing I've learned, guys, deconflict yourself from an oak tree. I've got an oak tree right there. Must remove oak tree. Oak tree removed. Okay, guys. Ich bin bereit. That means I'm ready. Ooh, night vision. Looks like all 12 cruise missiles are out. There's also an uh, IR view as well, but that's not showing up anything yet. I oh, wow. think I see something. I've never seen that, and I've only been doing this for seven and a half years. Guys, there's an IR view. No, he wouldn't have that in real life, though, would he? Or would he? I don't know. It is part of the latest Igla, yes. Woohoo! I argue without cheating, guys. I believe the two systems are incorporated into one, though, in real life. Well, that already starts to tell us how this might have been possible. And I argue, mate, this is so much achievable because you're just going to see a big red spot on the sky rather than a tiny little painted tube. Cruise missiles, 15 miles. One of us. 15 miles. Well, we're all dependent on you, uh, not Cortana, Violet, because I can't see squat. Guys, I would also wait for a rear aspect just like the guy did. Personally, I mean, do what you want, but... Hey, Cap. Hello, Sock. I'm so hopped up on caffeine right now, I can hear color. <laughs> that might be useful, Sock. Coming on to 10 nautical miles, 093. Hang on, I wonder if my compass is magnetic and he's reading true. Oh, my God. Stress. We should be seeing them now, guys, and I can't see anything. This is so friggin' hard. 7 nautical miles, 7 miles. True. You won't hear until very late. This is what I was saying, guys. This is what I was saying. The design not to be shot down or seen. Five nautical miles. Three nautical miles. Oh, I see them. They're Tally. by the power line to your front. Below uh, level of the trees. See them. Oh, they're just behind the power line. In uh, fact. Tower. All right, all right. Don't panic, guys. Don't panic. Panic! It's uh, they don't show on IR mode. Look like, oh. Looks like they're about oh, to cross the trouble. tree line to your front. There they Jesus are. Christ. They're crossing the tree line. That was about to pop. I see him! I see him! Ah! Ah! They're so fast and small! No tone. No tone. No tone. I told you, I told you it was impossible. I told you. I couldn't get tone. I have tone, but it fire! Be fire. It's because it's someone else's tone and it's got bug. Oh god damn it. That's so stupid. I couldn't hit do it guys. I couldn't fire. I was definitely 100 percent aiming at them. Oh that was very loud. It was loud, wasn't it, Grump? Try again. Try again. Reset mission. Right, we're trying again, value viewers. That was disappointing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be clever. I'm going to use that super cat brain. I'm going to use my guys as an early warning system, and I'm going to walk out a mile over this way, and that means they do all the panicking this time as it flies over the head, and I'll be ready, like on a little mound or a grassy knoll. <laughs> Sorry, I think that went over everyone else's head. There you go, you see. <laughs> if you always uh, spread yeah, out, unlike the yeah, group, I can understand. Uh, <laughs> group, like every once in a while, look at the American history. Right, so I'm spreading out like a mile to the break west. So you guys, yeah, I think that's probably your best bet if everybody mm -hmm. just spreads out, cruise missiles out. I am in position, guys, and ready to give serious boom boom. I just wish I could zoom in with the eyepiece. The eyepiece is. I mean, all this tech, and you've got some stupid World War Two iron sight to fire this thing, right? I mean. Just... Can you fire it from the isometric view, the external view? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it, guys. Guys. Ten. What's called mouse? Ah, well, in the binoculars, guys, you can zoom in with mouse scroll wheel. Next time, can you put me on top of that farmer's barn? Mm -hmm. That would be health and safety legislation problem, Simba. Wait, on top of that, the farmer's daughter? Do they have that in the Ukraine um, right now? Range, please. Oh, fair point. I don't think they ever had it in the Ukraine. Five nautical miles. Ali, pull in the big oak tree. All right. You're leading, Matrix. Mosquito-like... Blur on the uh, horizon. Town, I found him. Yeah, I think found him. A, right to a bit I see him. I see some dots. Valid views. Can you see that? Yep, 100% see them. 
Right, gonna start trying to lock now. Lock, you bastard. They're going to the right a bit more. Lock. Lock. Lock! Someone's got tone. Someone's got tone. I can't fire though. Jesus, they're so fast! I can't lock and I can't fire. And they're out of sight. Hmm. Mate, Negative. I can't do anything. Do you reckon any. one of the problems is that uh, that you, those Ukrainian shoulder, uh, soldiers were shooting from like a side off angle? So yeah. the problem is you'll lose lock as they fly right over your head because they're going so quickly over your head. You know, like character can't really turn. That's that's why we that spread quickly. out. That's why we spread out though. Because the way you're you, the way you're spread out, they're still all flying over your head. They all need right. to be like one more time. You need to like I guess all sh if you all shift left so that they kind of fly to your right hand side rather than directly over your head. I feel like you have a better chance that way because you'll be able to. Hold your view on them for much longer. Right, super gaps going north, but I'm pretty sure this isn't possible, guys. Also, they disappear so quickly from view. They're just like, they're two pixels. Now they're one pixel. Now they're gone. Brilliant. That was fun. There's a bridge over there, guys. Bridge over troubled waters, you might say. So far, valued viewers, we are very disappointed in this. Yeah, I think your best option is to kind of spread both kind of north and south rather than east and west. That's just why I'm. I think it will give you the best chance anyway, as it like, because I guess your so, character just can't track it as it flies directly so over your head. The way I think it works is there's a relatively simple digital image, like, you know, like on, pre on the Predator movies, like that. And if enough, if there's enough red pixels there, if there's enough heat plume, there's enough red pixels, it'll say, that's a baddie, I can lock onto him. I don't reckon in its digital seeker image that there's enough red pixels there. I don't think that heat plume's big enough. That's my guess. Right, well, I've gone like half a mile. I want Iris T. I'm all ready for Iris T SLM, baby. This is all legacy Russian gear from the 80s slash 90s anyway. It's never going to work. What we need is a lovely, big, modern seeker head with high-resolution digital imaging. So we need stock and an intelligent brain. And a really big motor. And a good range as well. Iris T SLM has got like 20 kilometers range. Woo! And it's got early warning radar. It comes as a suite of vehicles. Early warning radar that can look over the horizon and find those missiles coming. 15 nautical miles. All we've five. got is a mobile phone and our mate Dimitri on our rooftop somewhere. That's not as good as an integrated system, guys. Unless Dimitri's got very good Dimitri eyes. Dimitri make, Dimitri make good work. Oh, don't he's go, cheap. Don't get me wrong. On Dimitri. He's cheap and we don't pay him a pension, but still, he's no IRST SLM made by the Germans. They make Mercedes Sorry, and Porsche. He took, a, he took a BMP crew. He a good yeah, guy. Yeah, Alright, I'll give you that. I'm sure if you could fire them without having to get a lock first, it'll acquire a lock when it's near it. Which I guess is what you can do in real life. There's that time we need to invite someone who made the Igla into the chat. That would be useful. Seven nautical miles. Mr. Igla. Yes, Mr. Igla. Or Mrs. Igla. Yes, I suppose it could be. Yeah. Equal opportunities, Still Russia. Still got time to spread out a little bit more. Oh, it, they, are, they are going to uh, fly directly between both you groups. Some of you have gone north and some of you have gone south. So, Senior, probably, Senior uh, doesn't realise what it's like on the ground, just watching one pixel fly by. Uh, fine. Well, I've been watching it from uh, your perspective. So. Four it should miles. be close to coming over the wires soon, so oh, get ready. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm watching it from one of you on the ground. Right, I'm watching. Let's see one of them. You can see them over the trees. Yep, Tony. Someone's got tone. Someone's got tone. Someone should be able to fire with that tone. Shall I see him? Fired. Missile out. Oh. Someone's fired! Someone's fired! Yes! yes! Yuga! Yeah. Yuga! Oh! You just needed that extra time to be able to lock on. Who like. did it? Rather than that was Top Saw, I think. Top yeah, was Saw! How the shit did you make that shot? Respect for button, respect for Hasina forcing us to do it again. You pressed the button. Right. Respect for Hasina for forcing me to do it again, because I was sure this wasn't gonna work, but then they're gonna have an actual pessimist. And for Top Saw for making that shot. Right, I need to debrief in the cold clean air. It is possible. It is possible. It's just really hard. Just like it is in real life. Right? So that footage is probably real, guys. How does that make you feel? Suck. I'm moist. And grump. Love Ukraine! 
brilliant. All right, guys, it's possible, but basically useless because you've got to get a right guy in the right time in the right place and have a one in a million shot. So proof of concept, but useless. To yes. be honest, I'm busy, so, you know, and Tuxel's busy chasing girls in pubs. So, also, we've got Iris T S L M coming up. Stand by. Welcome back, valued viewers. This is going to be a bit weird. Uh, we don't have the ability to make a Iris T S L M mod in DCS. It's possible, but we're just too stupid. But we are clever enough to put Iris T's da, 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 on flankers and other aircraft. So, I'm aware this is going to be a bit weird, but just stick with it. We have flank. Look at Stock's lovely flowery skin. Aren't you lovely, Stock? It's pretty. We've also got Box with Iris T's. And we've also got A10Cs with Iris T's. So this should be interesting. Some ramps are facing forward, some ramps are backwards. Guy's got an SU-34 coming that desperately wants to be shot down. So I heard. I to get up the ramp. <laughs> uh oh. I got it. Right. Cap is essentially ready to fire. Minimum speed. Over G, over G, over Right, let me know when the suckers come in, guys. Minimum speed. Right, interesting, I don't see Alley one. Stores on. way. I mean, I see the stores, I don't see it on my loadout. There you go. Sorry, shoot it. Shoot it like a, shoot like a sidewinder. Shoot him when you can, guys. Oh my god, my guy's going nuts. My flank is falling off the goddamn thing. Someone's fired! Someone's fired! Yeah! What was that, in the A-10? Yep. You're such a friggin' hero, Violet. Right, guys, hold fire because here come the cruise missiles next. Stop firing! Here come the cruise missiles next. Get ready for it. Right, my guys. Just, uh, right. How do I fall off the ramp? Yes, that's probably for the best. Okay, value viewers, like I said, this is unconventional, but unconventional times require unconventional measures. Thank you, you leaving your gear up? Because I keep slipping off the dog nam thing. Oh! So, I see, I see. I uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, my bad. So I can do it with my gear out, is that right? Yes. They break off, so you can. Look at my clever my guys are. They are so clever. Right, now look at this. I've got what we call a helmet-mounted display where I can look around and lock onto a thing. I could probably lock onto the stock there if I wanted, and then fire my missile. Uh, so I hope all is going to go well. We are completely in your hands, Asina, by the way, about when those missiles... Things are definitely happening. They're within 15 nautical miles. Right. We'll probably just have one go at this because this is a bit of a nightmare to set up. Sweet, we've got some players. Why not? When in Rome, guys. I mean, when in Rome. You're not going to be able to uh, shoot See? them as when they like go behind you. For those who are facing front are not going to be able to shoot them when they go like behind you. And those facing the other way are only going to get you're the wrong. opportunity to shoot you. You're wrong because these are uh, lock on after launch. These can actually fire and do a 180 twist. So, uh, oh yeah, the IRS teaser. So they can go whoop and then go bend all the way around, and that is actually modelled. I should say kudos, uh, credit to the Jazz 39 team who built this missile. I just stole it. Sock, how do you feel about your lovely IRS T? I'm about to pop! Right, thought that might be the case. Look at that, look at that bog rocking. Who's the bog rocking? He's like gone mad. Oh, remember? <laughs> you know <laughs> Within 10. Um, Super Captain needs to think about concentrating on the job. Look how, look how professional and calm Violet is. Always professional and calm. Needlessly aggressive. Don't do it, Violet. Don't fall down Bogs that ramp. Alright, bogs are out. Don't know why. They can't handle the Iris T for some reason. Jump in a flanker, question mark. There's no more flankers. Oh god that's damn it! Why, that's that's why I didn't jump into one Alright. My bad. In five. Bog can't use the Iris T for yeah. some reason. You should Tally be able missiles. to see them soon. Tally yep, missiles! I don't see Mr. Yes, I see them, I see them. Right guys, just guns, 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 box, use your guns. Oh, yes, yeah, oh, the box have got the box have got the head on. Shut. They're behind the flankers. Tally, so. tally, tally. Right, here they come, guys. Oh, this is Coming so... over the pie ones now. Come on, give me a... Give it, 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 give it. Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. Give it. IRS, one IRS2 went out, but went straight up. It couldn't track. I can't lock. I can't lock, Box guys. Out. Missile's out going. Hit. Well done! Dude. Zuka! We, we hit one! We hit one! 1500. Box two. Right. Let's go and check our damage, guys. I'm going to pause the server now. Zap. Right. That was a bit madness, but let's go see if we actually hit any there, guys, because... One more IRST heading out. So oh, well, let me just watch that then. Box right. Box okay. Box. And... Oh, it's going to hit! Yes, it hit! Oh, Zuck! You're so clever! Pausing again in three, two, one, mark. There is one, shot down two, four. three, four, five, six, seven. We shot down four!
was shot down for. IRST SLMGR mod works perfectly. And let's face it, it's also completely efficient because look at it. Look at it. Look at it. That is all. Uh, guys, how do you feel about the effectiveness of German provided IRST SLM, one of which has now been provided by two Ukraine already, and three more are going to be shipped in the next few months? It's love of Ukraine. Only ski ramps if they Ukraine. implement them the way that we have. No, their ones don't come with ski, ski ramps. They have a boring system because they're German. We have the sexy version. My Valley viewers, go and Build yourself an IRST SLM and shoot down some Russian missiles. Bye-bye! Value viewers, welcome back. The boys were chatting like they do, and they've decided they want to see if they can take off from these ramps, which is stupid. But then again, I guess we're a bit stupid, so I'm pausing. All right, guys, do a thing. I'm getting a new one, in fact. In fact, I'm just going to watch you guys. That's probably the safest thing for me. Right, you'll need a bit of a run-up, so don't just try... Yep, no one listens to me. Sock literally didn't listen to me. Ukraine may... Tough landing gear. Yeah, well, Slot, slot. <laughs> Valley, you're stupid. <laughs> well, I mean, you did use the actual ground. Right? Guys, we meant we meant to have a bit of a run up first. You need a run up. Do it properly. You have to come off the ramp and then be airborne. You can't just take off on the field. But this box gonna do it. Well, I did. No, I'm you on... went on the field. You have to take off on the ramp. Yeah, you're on the field. Ken. So have you're a run up. Like... Sock doesn't understand. You have to have a run up and then take off on the ramp. All right, Matrix is doing it properly. Brilliant, oh. brilliant, <laughs> friggin' unbelievable. This is why we're the laughing stock of the DTS community, guys, because of stunts like that. Go on, Matrix. Matrix, he did it. Yeah, that's we're in. We're in Star. Stovall. That's another F-18 airport. Well done, Grum. Fogs and flankers, or just fogs. Yeah, my guys! My guys! So heroic! That's a new Sunday fun day game. Stop all. Who can take off 50 feet, right? Right, guys, are we done embarrassing ourselves now? That was fun. Never. Brilliant. I hope you enjoyed that. Bye.